Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you. This is a weekend bonus for Leo sign. This is weekend bonus for Leo sign. Applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. This is for Leo. What can I get for Leo sign? Please, weekend bonus reading. Okay, first card is for singles and dating. Ace of Wands. Wow, this is great. Second card is for relationship and marriage, please. Mm, the Magician. Third card is for those Leo that is having breakup, separation, or divorce. Okay. What can I get more for Ace of Wands, singles, and dating? Okay. My card is tired. It's angry. <laughs> I'll change it in the next sign. Okay, what can I get for Ace of Wands? Oh, wow. All right. Okay. So this weekend vibe in the next two to three weeks, Leo, for you, there's an opportunity, a message, a person. They're a bit scared, but they will try to communicate. If you entertain and accept this message, and if you accept this connection, association, because I felt like for some of you, this is a person that you would meet at work. This is a person that probably, you know, something of accepting a connection, an association. It could be as simple as a business card. From that business card, you know, this is just a, connect, a connection, a message. It's not very obvious to love, you know, there's, there's this page of pentacles in here. It's not really obvious um, that they, they're they interested with you. But accepting this connection, association, link up, it's going to give you an opportunity. An opportunity which can lead you to dating or romantic or relationship. So there is an opportunity for, opportunity for you, Leo. Accept the connection, association. This person could be in an Aquarius. Um, the star card is in reverse because I felt like this person is scared because if you see the page of pentacles they're holding the pentacles and the star card, here's the, the star so they're scared they're a bit frightened or they're um, intimidated because look, you're a Leo <laughs> you're a lion, of course they will be intimidated there's something to do There's 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 there is a message there's there's something with this person or with this connection there that they are hesitant so if you accept the connection if you reply if you accept the link up for some of you i'm picking up this is linkedin you know that linkedin uh how do you i don't know how to pronounce it but it seems to be like a career website so yeah so there's an opportunity to link to connect to accept the association they're a bit hesitant but they will do it so as soon as you accept them it's gonna give them a boost of confidence to keep it going all right keep it going because if you keep it going you've got the ace of wands with you good connection a good date a good a good startup all right this is for singles singles and dating now for married marriage or um in a relationship so the magician is here if you've got an issue this is saying that you are a strong couple you're a power couple you've got everything you pretty much have the kids the career the money you know you've got the basic things that you want you need you love in this connection so what is stopping you to fixing the relationship you know magician i'll get more card but I felt like it's, for some of you, it could be petty. I hope, you know, because it's, this is a powerful card. This is a make it happen. Oneness, your oneness will, will keep you going. Being together will keep you going. Like you, for some of you, you have to try. It's more, oh, okay, you need to try. You need to try because you love this person. Third party. All right. Okay. It seems to be that the challenge is a third party or something really disappointing. Queen of Cups is here to say that you've got un unconditional love. You know, someone has an unconditional love or has 
to give an understanding. You've got kids. You probably have two kids, but kids is involved. And for some of you, I'm picking up the connection of the magician here is you've got the power to forgive, forget. You are strong as a couple, but it will depend on you. Because some things, sometimes, you know, things that are broken, especially if it's third party, or if it's a cause of something really disappointed and betrayal, some things that if it's broken, it needs time to heal. But again, it is up to one person or to the two of you to fix. I see and I feel like this magician is powerful enough to strike over the third, the three of swords. So if this is a third party, if this is a major disappointment that this person, your partner, did towards you, Remember the love that you had before. Remember the kids. These are the things that you consider. So it's all up to you to decide when will you strike, you know, when will you strike this wand to the ground? Because once you strike the wand, it's it. Whether to leave it or to stay. But you've got to have one decision, stay or leave. So it's up to you when will you strike the wands to the ground? Because once you strike the wands, to the ground, this this magician, the wand is is the magician's power. So once the once the magician use his wand, strike it. It's either to leave or to stay. To stay is to forget this, and remember the unconditional love and the kids. If you choose to leave, then we have to remove this, and it's all just you to start all over again. All right, very powerful. So now let's go to King of Cups. What can I get for King of Cups? Leo, divorce, breakup, separation. Hmm. Let go. <laughs> oh, let go. What more, please? <sighs> okay. Leo, divorce, separation, breakup. Right now, I'm feeling like this weekend, you're sad. All right? You're sad. You're missing someone, your kids, this person. There is sadness. This king of cups, it's loyal. It's um, sincere. It's a king. It would give everything to make. It would give, if it, it, it would give his life. It would give, it has an authority to make things King, King of Cups is kind, you know, if, if it always look after the wealth or the wealth, sorry, it, the King of Cups in this reading, what I sense is that it, it, if it's a separation, a divorce or a breakup, it, it prioritize the other person versus, you know, what he or she feels or it is a person that's giving, it's loyal, it is, it is a person that will take care of the the welfare of other people versus his you know his thing his his um his his himself you know so you could be sad you could be thinking about someone you're asking like to let go because things will be okay ten of cups you know and if there was a cheating betrayal it's gonna progress so for some of you, I'm picking up breakup, marriage, divorce. You're being advised to, to um, like I, I imagine a person that's sitting on a chair and looking at the horizon and um, imagining the things that they have achieved as a couple and reminiscing. It, it, it is sad to kind of reminisce or um, recall or... You know those thoughts it is it is indeed sad especially if you are divorcing separating or you are in a fresh breakup but it's saying you have to let go of that thought because you need to be kind with yourself you know it's you know king of cups a king cannot serve his um his followers if he himself is not healthy so if you would like to revive or you know whatever it is that you plan in the future whether to be alone or 
to be with this person or with a new person, the first thing you need to do is to look after yourself. Like be be kind to yourself. Be yourself first before you, you know, you jump into your relationship or you jump into getting back into this person. You know, be kind to your first. You be kind to yourself. Heal and let go. You know, let 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 go of the thoughts that is making you sad, making you feeling bound to this relationship that's gone. So be kind with your thoughts, be kind with yourself, because sometimes the more we reminisce, the more we think of the happy times, the more it doesn't help us to move on. So right now, be kind with yourself and release yourself into into things that's making you bound to stay into something that's gone because a breakup you need to release it first if it's meant to be it will come back and because i felt like there is a, a really good chance that you could get your families your kids or this relationship back because as i mentioned in the in the beginning of the reading i see you sitting in looking at the horizon you know you could get that you know, that same thoughts and feelings and happiness. But right now, you need to let it go. Because right now, it's not happening. And you're living, for some of you, I'm picking up, like, you're living in the past. Release yourself from the past so that you could see the new Ten of Cups waving in front of you. It could be a new person or it could be the same relationship but a new version. So... Like, it's more of your expectation. Like, you really need to be kind and release yourself into that past. Disconnect from the past. Live in the moment. Um, I don't think it is happening now. Like, I don't think this, this, this will not happen. This will not happen overnight because it's connected with the Seven of Swords. It is a progress. If you're achieving to have this person, family, relationship back, it is a progress. If you want the same relationship in a different person, it is a progress. The process, the progress starts within you. You need to live in the present. Release and disconnect yourself with the past. All right? Beautiful reading for you, Leo. Thanks for your time. It's been a pleasure doing this reading for you guys. Thank you so much for my followers, for my subscribers, for those guest viewers. Please, guys, don't just be a guest. Don't be a stranger. Join my team. Join my channel because I have a lot of weekend, weekly bonus. How does he or she who's coming towards your reading? All right. So again, thank you and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.